on, Blue Jays. Come on, Blue Jays. Can you win? Come on, Blue Jays. Come on, Blue Jays. Can you win? M E T S. Mets, Mets, Mets. Suck, BJs. Boo. Network. Two fucking pass balls. We were up 2-1. Blue Jays lose again to the Mets. John Gibbons, give me my manager back. Fuck John Schneider. Let's see what the fans have to say. We were winning. We we came back. We still lost the game. Tell me your thoughts. I know exactly why we lost. What? Vladdy was wearing way too tight uh, jeans. <laughs> yeah, his, his, I saw his ass from like the 500s. He was wearing Lululemons. Close, he was wearing Lululemon pants. I saw it. We had the bets, but then we eventually bet on if he was wearing a cup or not. I don't think he was. Nah, I, honestly, the tights are the pants are too tight for a cup. There's no way. We should give Vladdy 150 million dollars <laughs> for one season and then we're call it a wrap. 100 million dollars, tighter pants, and we're winning the World Series. Right? I'd say so. Series. I'd say so. That's a good call. Yeah, they, they took cap. Captain Kirk out, they pinch ran him, and then, uh, yeah, the new, the, the new catcher let a couple slide by, right? So, yeah. it came back to bite us. That ending was pretty uneventful. Fucking lose on pass balls. It's a joke, man. My thoughts were, I should have put money down on the Mets. They were plus 200. Literally, that was free money. That's free money. Free what money? The fuck oh, were they the plus thinking, right? I don't know. I don't that know. was ridiculous, man. I should have put down the whole stack on that, right? Yeah. Plus 200, easy money. Uh, how about don't have AAA being your entire team and then you'll do better? They don't look at the little aspects of the game. Every single minute, every single play, it counts. But we just ultimately just didn't seem to care about those details. To those who are commenting on every video that I appear to have restless, sleepless, uh, baggy eyes, don't you understand that these con artists, deceitful liars of Shapiro and Atkins promised us a big season to come and all we got was big fat lies yes. and we took a leap of faith we entrusted these bunch of hacks and what did they lead us, lead us to nothing and look at me we're all just living in a big nightmare horrors when will this city ever not feel pain when will this city ever feel glory and success we don't deserve to be in bottom dwellers we belong high above the sky we belong to the championship row and we demand a sincere apology at Kinsha Shapiro because ain't this ain't gonna cut it don't make fun of me to get a pillow don't make fun of my eyes because anyone who deeply cares who really loves their team because it's part of their life, they're part of their culture. Every breath you take is your team losing. It's painful to see. It's heartbreaking to even witness this disaster. John Gibbons, manager, bench coach of the Mets. John Schneider, manager of the Blue Jays. Which would you rather have? John Schneider in a heartbeat. Really? She just said John Schneider. Crazy! Oh, what kind of questions are that? Right there, right? Give me, give me, give me, give me, all day! Yes! This guy's fucking loved in this city, bro. Honestly. Hey, like me. Take Gibbons any day of the week. Me and my boys, we grew up with John Gibbons. He was our manager 2015, 2016. I would give my life to have John Gibbons back, man. John Gibbons, without a doubt. Bro, Just the, so the grit the team showed back in 2015, 2016, compared to now, 2020, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's, it's sad. Behind the bench, I believe it was his first time back in Toronto. It was, it was okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, they should have done something. That, that's shame on the Blue Jays. I'm going with Gibby, 2015, 2016. Yeah. They were good years. They were good years. Sure, Gibby, why not? Why not? Anyone but fucking Schneider, man. I, I totally forgot that he went over to the, to, to the Mets. My wife told me that. So, hey, good for him. They've been on a good run, solid run. So, yeah. good for them. Maybe they'll make it in. Who knows? Do you remember John Gibbons? Uh, no. The Mets ended last season like 13 or 14 games below 500. This year, 13 games above 500 and in a playoff race. What can we learn from it? Honestly, just keep the perseverance going. Like, if we, if we could even get a winning season or even finish at 500 this year, I'd be totally happy with that. Their front office, their GM, their ownership, their stadium, their mascot. Let's take it all. I'll trade it all right now. Blue Jays for Mets. Let's go. The Toronto Mets. Is that that's what we want? I'll buy that jersey all day. They're fucking fun, man. Like, you watch Mets games and they're fun to watch. These guys are having fun. OMG, baby. I mean, you know, Jays fans. You know, we got it. We show up for our team. We're here every night. You know, I've been a Jays fan my entire life. You know, we lost our team 2020, 2021. 
We show up, man. We deserve this shit, you know? The Mets are an underrated team. And my, they, they are now, they're now on a 10-game winning streak. You don't really hear much about them. I think we have to rebuild this year. Rebuild this year, rebuild next year, and see what happens. Fun as fuck. I'm so, I'm so looking forward to it. Yeah, it should be a pretty shit season, but we'll be there. I don't know what YouTube is. Seven. 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 Se